This is good chili. What's in this? Can't tell you. Mom's secret recipe. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Yo, man. How many of these seeds you think we've thrown over here over the past couple of years? Huh? What, a quadrillion? <laughs> is that a real number? I don't know if it's a real number and a fake word or a fake word and a real number. <laughs> it's like, how come the weed won't grow? Man, we found the only spot in the Northwest where weed won't grow. <laughs> Not good. Come on, dude, let's go. We're gonna be late picking up Debbie. Uh, uh, let's do this. Let's do it! Come on! Come on, man! Hey! Hold up! Wait up, wait up, I forgot my bike. Hold up. Hi, Mr. Sanchez. I'm Harris, Debbie's boyfriend. We're here to take Debbie to the Raising Hell concert. Is she ready? What up, dude? <clears throat> I mean, uh, sir, dude. You've got to be kidding me. I know. <laughs> Women, right? Never ready on time. Nah, we'll wait. Hey, by any chance, you got any munchy snacks? I know you got them. Don't you hold out on me. Debbie tells me you're not planning on going to college. No, mm -hmm. sir. Mm -hmm. We don't need college. Reeves mm -hmm. and I are going to start our own business. Mm -hmm. Live off the grid. That's right. Off the what? Oh, well, you know. Not get caught up in the whole corporate rat race. Corporations kill the working man. <clears throat> I, I, I got this. No, this it's a really cool idea. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Reeves and I are going to drive around the country selling coffee on street corners. Right? Right? <laughs> oh, OK. And then, sometimes, we'll just sell it right in the middle of the street if yeah. there ain't no corner. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Absolutely. corner. <laughs> you want to whip it? Whip it. <sighs> I was wrong about you boys. I want to apologize. Oh, no need. And this idea of yours is one surefire plan for success. Yes, baby. Yes. Mm hmm <laughs> This should be enough to uh, intoxicate my daughter, don't you think? Sir, we're, we're not going to need that. Oh, yeah, sir. No, we're fine. We already have vodka in our van. Oh. So you have a van? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I assume you must have a mattress in the back of the van as well. No. <laughs> no. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> There's nothing like fornicating in the back of a van. Huh? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> well, sir, we're not into the whole fucking animals thing. Hey, how are you guys on condoms? You know what? On second thought, it'll probably be a lot more fun to violate my daughter without protection. And you can join in too, gordito. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to let her go, are you? Why not? Because I don't like you boys, OK? You're stoners. This concert is way too far away. And Debbie is a minor. All right, so that's one reason. And let me add something else, OK? In all my years, I have never heard of such a stupid idea for a business. Selling cups of coffee? That's as dumb as trying to sell bottles of water. All right, all right, all right. I see what's going on here. So, sir, what if? I promise not to fuck her. What? Relax. Sir, We're negotiating. Sir. That's how negotiations <clears throat> work. Could I just talk to Debbie, please? No. OK. <clears throat> so uh, can I go upstairs and talk to Debbie? What part of no is confusing to you boys? I don't know about him, but to me, the K and the W being silent, it, it's just never made any sense to me. You don't need this, because I'm sure you have plenty of weed in your van. 
No, I wish we had. Yo, first off, we don't have plenty of weed in the back of our van, okay? Mm. We're actually about to go pick up some weed from one of my homies that we know on the way there because we're running a little low. Mm. So you don't really know everything Silent K, Silent W about everything that me and him have going on. So you, yeah. I want you boys out of my house. Vamos. Pa fuera! Out! I think Debbie ratted us out. How did he know we were stoners? What the? Tommy gave us the wrong address. Um, do you know where Joe lives? I'm Joe. You here for Herb? You're the dealer? <laughs> you look like you could be selling Avon. <laughs> I sell that too. Lip gloss or weed? Make up your mind. Weed? Wow. She really does sell Avon. Northwest Division Salesperson of the Year. <laughs> what are the odds? Oh, yeah. oh my God! What the? I think you guys are cops. What? Yo, you, look, we, we we just changed our mind, right? Did we change our mind? We came here for some for some lip gloss. Lip gloss. You got some. Right? What's Tommy's middle name? We, we we don't know. I I, I swear. I swear. <laughs> 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 so I don't either. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> oh, that's that's, that's, that's funny. <laughs> Take off your clothes. What? Take off your clothes. Take off your clothes. Do you want the weed or not? Yeah, but why why do we need to take off our clothes? Do I need to get my strap on so we can do a few dance numbers first? No, no strap on at all. <laughs> but you're funny though. Strip ladies. <laughs> Strip bitches. <laughs> Um, well, you know, probably just to, like, make sure we're not wired or something. No, man, no, no, no. I saw this. I saw this in my mind. I saw this happening. Really? You you saw this coming? The dealer was going to turn out to be an Avon lady who would put a gun to our head and threaten to fuck us with a strap-on phallus, yeah? Yeah, that was your vision? Yes, I saw that, all right? I knew that was going to happen, but I, I didn't know what the word phallus meant until, like, right now. <laughs> See? We're not wired. I wouldn't worry about that. I just wanted to see you naked. That reminds me, I need to buy cashews. Hey. Price is 200. Dollars? No, pesos. This shit was grown in Area 51, where they keep the aliens. You ever heard of G13? No way. No way. Are you telling me that's that, that's that, that super secret CIA weed? This is G14. Oh, what? Most of the CIA can't even get their hands on this shit yet. Well, how'd you get it? I fucked a guy who knows a guy. That's all I'm gonna say. Yo, know, those are the type of stories you couldn't make up even if you tried. You just know it. You don't have $200. Um. But it's two hundred dollars. That's a lot. Tell you what. You go down on me. Take off ten percent. Ah, that's a, that's funny. <laughs> that's really good. You make me squirt. I'll take off twenty. Squirt what? And I am the flyest man with the liveest jams. Me and my DJ, the mic. Dude, I can't believe we actually. Uh, 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 I, I, I thought we agreed we weren't even going to talk about it. Are you sure? 
sure this is a shortcut. I mean, I have not seen any lights for a while now. I think we should turn around. Here? No, after another 30 minutes of darkness. Stuck in a hole, man. Well, I'm not licking this one. Twice in one day? Ugh. Man, looks like we might have to spend the night here tonight, then. Fuck! We're gonna, we're gonna miss the concert. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Glitch. I feel. Dude, do you, do you, like, hear that? Dude, I could like hear my ears like, listening to things. What? Huh. You mean to tell me that you can hear your your ears operating? Yeah, bro. Oh. Yo, this CI shit is crazy strong, man. Yo, I, I feel like I got a piss, but I don't even know. <laughs> Yo. Fuck, I'm high. Yo. 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 Dude, my hand, it, my hand looks like a, like a tarantula. I don't even feel my hands anymore. <laughs> I'm hungry, bro. I wish we had some of your chili right now with a, a bowl of cheese and a, and a slice of ice cream. Mm. Oh. Mm. You know what I wish right now? Mm. I wish these fingers were just little Kit Kat bars, okay? I can just break one off, break you off a piece. <laughs> It's so good. You all right, bro? Oh, my God. Feels like my whole face is in my mouth. Oh, why are my balls vibrating? I can't feel my cock. Oh, my God. My cock is gone. Yo, I slept like a baby. Oh, me too. That weed knocked me the fuck out. Mm. You look cool to the bone burger. Holy shit! You look old as fuck! This <laughs> supposed to have some hallucinogenic shit in it. That's fucking cool. We must be a little juicy day to now. Oh, yeah. Uh, man, I feel like we've been walking for days. Ah, fucking hot. This is the worst hallucination ever. We're not hallucinating, we're still dreaming. 
How do you know this is your dream and not mine? Because I always dream of spaceships. Let's keep walking. The fuck was that? It's a talking door? What's happening? Hello, door. How are you? Nice to meet you. Why is everybody on their calculator? We walked all this way for a fucking math convention. I hate math. And I gotta take a shit. Twenty sixteen. What the fuck? Thank you. Have a nice day. The fuck? What the fuck is that? I'm at the gas station. Oh, sweetheart, I miss you so much. I can't wait to see you, my little boo. I'll be here for a couple hours. Who the fuck is that? The fuck? Welcome. Yo! Check this out. Government approves... No, not that. Look at the date. June 12, 2016. It's one of those fake newspapers. Uh-uh, this shit is real. I went outside, I saw a dude with his car plugged in. The price of gas is $5 a gallon. And I seen a girl with a thing in her hand that she was talking to a dude, and he was there, like a video but call. But did you see this? That's fucked up. Check this out, though. This proves that this is a fake. If you go by this newspaper here, this guy is black, right? And his name is Obama, Barack Obama. And he's the president of the United States! Exactly. Excuse me, sir. What's the date? June the 12th, man. What year? 2016. Hey, get off me, man. Get off me. Right, 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 right. I'm gonna let you yeah, right. Who, who's the president? Barack Obama. What'd he look like? It's black. That weed we smoked knocked us out for 30 years. We need to get a tow truck, get your van out the ditch, and get the fuck on home. Let's go. This damn CIA. First in Vietnam, then Reagan gets shot. Ever heard of a turn signal? It's nobody's fucking business where we're going. Parents definitely don't live here anymore. They really mean it when they say you can't go home again. So, our old school is a Home Depot now. Your old house is a vacant lot. And mine's a fucking Soul Mart? There's nothing left from our fucking life. And what the fuck is glutton free? I don't know, but the gluttons eat free. We should act like some gluttons go eat, because I'm starving. Now, let's go by Debbie's parents' house. Maybe they still live there. Yeah, they'll feed us. Hello? Uh, hi, Mrs. Sanchez? Yes? Uh, this is Harris. Harris Weber. Who? Uh, Debbie's boyfriend. Her old boyfriend, I guess. Harris has been dead for 30 years. This isn't funny. You really don't think this is funny. Go away! Leave! I, 
I, I know this probably sounds crazy, but oh. hi, Mrs. Sanchez. It's a I know it's probably really weird for you right now, but mm. I probably didn't expect to see us after all these years. <laughs> yeah. This can't be. Debbie? Where the hell have you been? Ah! Ow. Ah. You guys want me to believe that you bought some super pot from a woman named Joe who was screwing a CIA guy who was growing pot in Area 51 where they keep the aliens on your way to a concert that you never got to because your van fell into a ditch where you slept for 30 years and all of a sudden you woke up one day and here you are. Crazy shit, right? Were you in prison? You were in prison, weren't you? Like in Bolivia or something. If only. Hey, up here. What happened to you guys? What really happened to you guys? That is what really happened. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea how serious your disappearance was? There were news reports. There were missing persons reports. Your parents hired private detectives. We had no idea where you disappeared to. Eventually, we just thought you were dead. Your parents held funerals for you for closure. We had funerals? Yeah. You're buried at the cemetery on Madison Street. Was it a nice service? Nice funeral. Did people show up? A few. Was it sad? Guys, is this supposed to be funny? Because it, it, it's not. Look, we don't understand what happened either. But we're telling you what happened. It doesn't mean it's believable. It just means that's what the fuck happened. I can't believe you still live with your parents. It's my house now. No shit. That's wow. right. Hey, do you know where my parents moved to? Because I can't find them. Wow. You don't know, do you? Your parents died like 10 years ago. What the fuck? It's a bummer, bro. What about my parents? A years moved away. Um, we have no idea where they moved. We never saw them again. They, they moved to the mountains? My, my eyes are here, Reeves. My father loved mountains. <sighs> I see what you're saying. There's some good peaks out there. This is crazy. I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm, I'm a little freaked out. I just. <sighs> Look, I know this is a little crazy, us just showing up after all these years. Yeah. Why don't we meet up again tomorrow? To the mall or something? Maybe go to the arcade? Yeah, arcade. <sighs> OK. So what time do you want to hang out? Oh, I, I don't hang out. I go to work. So Bitch. after work? Bitch. After work? Uh, sure. OK, so like two? No, hon, this is not school. It's work. I'm like seven, eight. OK, well, we got to at least eight the latest, because the food court will close at nine. Oh. Deb. Hey, Willie. You still have this thing. Look at you, all businesswoman like, like a professional. <laughs> you look great. Thanks. Um, the house is locked, but if you want to clean up, you can use the rinse off shower on the side. Good, thank you. We need that. Debbie, I was in your backyard last night. And I was wondering, where'd you get this really cool stormtrooper boot? Hey, what the uh, hell is that? Who it's a stormtrooper boot. Who We're... stuck wheels in an ice skate? When were you in my backyard? I had to take a shit last night, and I didn't want your neighbors all in my business. It's very considerate of you. That is a rollerblade, and it belongs to my son. We have a son? No, no, we, you, we don't have a son. No. Wait, how old is he? He's 15. He was at his dad's last night. Wait, you fucked somebody else? Yeah, I did. Debbie's fucking! 
I, I did. And when am I gonna meet him? Uh, let's hold off on that for now. Why, is he ugly? We're not gonna laugh. Oh my God, is he a retard? <laughs> okay. It's because of comments like that that we are gonna hold off, and it's because of all of this. I mean, and I, you know, I don't want people in his life that are not gonna be a good role model. Good role models? We're not good role models? I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Well, maybe I did. It's just, you show up, after all these years, you're, you're looking homeless, you smell like I can't even describe, and you're sleeping in a van. Homeless? We got our fat gold chains. Yeah. Shell toes, we good. Brad's at a very impressionable age right now. You named him Brad? Anything that I'm saying is just sounding terrible and rude, and I'm sorry. I'm gonna go to work right now. I'm gonna go, okay? I'm gonna go. Might be time for you guys to start seeing other people. Apparently, she's been seeing other people. Guess what I'm seeing? I thought you finished all the weed. I did, but I found this in Debbie's back porch. Okay, now that we look less homeless, what do we do? Well, we gotta stop telling people what really happened. Truck stop guy, tow truck dude, Debbie, they all said we sounded crazy. Well, shit, I was there and I don't believe it. Here's what we do. We drop the story, we accept our situation, and we go back to what we were going to do. You mean start our business? Sell coffee out of my van? Yeah. Think about it, with inflation, we could be like making two bucks a cup. For coffee? You sound crazy as shit right now. We'll call it two buck a cup of coffee. You guys here to fix this satellite? The fuck's a satellite? What are we, fucking astronauts? You mean satellite? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> My name's Brad. I fucking live here. We're friends of Debbie's. <laughs> Uh, Debbie? You mean my mother? <laughs> oh, shit. That's Debbie's kid. Debbie's been fucking. <laughs> That's her receipt. <laughs> uh, yeah, listen, my mom's friends don't smoke, so. You don't know your mom's friends. That's my fucking bag of joints, man. What the fuck? Fuck, man. You smoking my weed, man? Jesus, guys, you smoked half my stash. <laughs> oh, relax. Fuck. We'll buy you more. Call your dealer. My dealer? <laughs> When's the last time you bought weed? Where do you get it from? You just buy it. You just walk into 7-Eleven and go buy weed? Yeah, can I get some chips, some soda? Oh, and some weed, please? <laughs> Wait, you guys know weed's legal now, right? Wait, what? I don't know why we need this doctor to get pot from a store. Well, if you have a prescription, they give a discount, so. Oh, mm -hmm. that's a good deal. Pot at a discount. It is my birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, hey, I told you I'd hook you up. Hello, nurse. I am uh, not the nurse. I am Dr. Gales. Oh, with the body like that, you ought to be a nurse. Um, you don't have to take your shirt off. Well, really. I'm taking my shirt off with uglier girls. <laughs> so it's not a problem. Um, <laughs> I assume that you're having trouble sleeping at night? No, I sleep all through the night. You look like you're in a lot of chronic pain. No. But I do have an itch you can scratch. Mr. Cornell? Reeves? I can't write you a prescription for medical marijuana unless there's an actual need. Do you understand? Right. Mm. Do you like Italian? You're in a lot of pressure, aren't you? Right. And you need something to help calm you down. Right. Back hurts. <laughs> can't sleep at night. Yes. Constant migraines. Yes, listen. You take your shirt off, I'm gonna take my shirt off, and then we gonna start fucking. I am not a prostitute. I didn't call you a prostitute. Okay. I should say you gave me a little medical rub, a tub, tub. You know, like a medical rub in a medical way. Non-prostitute, but just medically induced rub. Just so, you know, just so. You're non-prostitute? I'm not 
substantive way. Just so. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why didn't he say so? I was trying to. Stand up. Ooh. So me is gonna be. Alright. Oh no, and then stop. Like oh. right there. Right there. And uh, why don't you uh drop your pants, huh? Oh, the old reach around. Dropping the Back that up. Mm -hmm. Just gotta help me out there. Bend over. Kind of rough, aren't you? <laughs> Welcome to Home Depot. How can I help medicate you? We'll take it all. You can't have it all. What type of cannabis are you looking for? Cannabis? Fuck that. We want weed. At a discount. Rollables. They are indestructible. They are foldable. They are portable. Dishwasher safe. Yeah? Just gonna put that in there. Mm -hmm. About Dixie Elixirs over there. All different flavors. Do these all have weed in them? Duh. I think we're gonna need a bigger basket. Time you guys showed up. What are you drinking? Oh, it's a uh, mocha vanilla latte. What? What's that? It's coffee. That's a coffee? Where'd you get it? From Starbucks, hello. Those Starbucks places I see on every corner, they just sell coffee? Yeah. Debbie's, Debbie's dad, dad stole, stole our idea! idea! What the fuck are you guys talking about? Goddamn coffee thief! I never trusted her father. I mean, I've only known him for two minutes, but them two minutes, I never trusted him. I can't believe he stole our business plan. It took us fucking years to come up with that shit. Like a son? The fuck you mean like a son? I was your son. This is so strange. Uh, <laughs> I, never, I never thought I'd live to see today. <laughs> hey, it's bad to smoke cigarettes. You scared the shit out of us. It's not a cigarette, it's a joint. It's marijuana. Ganja yanwal man. It's still smoking. Well, it's our business, and those are our tombstones. What are you, the cemetery police? Okay, get the fuck out of here. We're grown. And we're grieving. What are you guys, ghosts? <laughs> Look here, I don't know, you're some kind of ghost whisperer. I don't know why you're here, but we're here smoking weed, minding our business. If you're ghost, how come I can't see through you? Well, there's a simple explanation for that. Um, basically, it's because I'm black! Now bounce, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I could really go for a bowl of your chili right now. Oh, yeah, that would be nice. Oh. Yo, I got an idea. What? What's the one thing people want when we're high? I don't know, but I'm hungry as a motherfucker. Exactly. We'll open up a restaurant that sells your chili with weed in it. That's actually brilliant. Then when they get the munchies, they're already there. And then they eat more, and then they have more munchies, and they keep eating. <laughs> they don't have to go nowhere. And even if they don't eat that much, what do people do when they're high? 
They're messy. They spill shit. They'll spill the chili, and they'll have to buy some more. We'll be millionaires. You just came up with that? Yeah. No shit. <laughs> I mean, you're some kind of idea entrepreneur, if there's a word. I'm an idealist. Where are we going to get the money to open up a restaurant, man? The bank. We'll go get a loan from the bank. No. Why not? There are no other chili restaurants in town. Are there? It's the marijuana aspect. Marijuana. Sir, weed is legal. Yes, marijuana is legal, Mr. Weber, but that doesn't mean a bank endorses it. This bank is a conservative organization. Well, I'm pretty sure that there are plenty of banks that will. <laughs> nope. Weed? No. <laughs> Leave. I got an idea. Mm -hmm. Let's leave out the weed this time. That's lying. That's business. I don't know. You know, they're eventually going to find out. Yeah, by the time they find out, we'll be paying back the loan, and that's all they really want. I guess. Look, you know those restaurants that sell paintings? You think they got a loan for an art gallery and a restaurant? No, they added that later. It's true. Yeah, but still, true. but still nothing. This is the last thing. Do you want this loan or not? All right. Let me fix you up. Pop, pe bam. Passed you bam. away, boo. Bam. Oh, shit. Let's go. The restaurant will serve chili. That's it? That's it. Just chili. Such a simple idea. It could actually work. Uh, looks like you guys have really good credit, too. That one negative thing pops up. Why do you seem annoyed by this? Approving a loan means I have a lot of paperwork in front of me. So, we got the loan? Well, it's not a slam dunk yet. The application process takes a few days, and you'll have to give a short presentation to the loan board. But it looks good. Unfortunately, guess I'll have to start looking for my pen. Gotcha. It's badass, right? What the fuck is that? EDM, man. Electronic dance music. Like a Skrillex. Steve, are you kidding me, Steve Aoki? David Gunnock, dude, get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on. I gotta pull some of this up on YouTube. Come on. Watch that. Hey, what's he doing? He's killing it. Doing what? Slaying it. Is he leading an aerobics class? Yeah, he's loving it up there. He's like, woo! But who's playing the music? What do you mean? He's DJing. He's playing the records. The song just changed. Mm -hmm. And his arms were in the air. Is he DJing with his dick? Because that, to me, would be impressive. Yeah, that would be impressive. He's a dick jockey. Can I show you how to DJ, please? Yeah, show him how to do it. Are you keeping it in your pants? Yeah, I'm definitely keeping it in my pants. What am I, a priest? Okay. Uh, where's your turntables? Go for it. What the fuck is that? The, yeah, like turntable. Like you scratch them and shit. It... No, where do you put your records? You, they're in the computer. You put all your records in the computer? No, well, I mean, the music is, yeah. And then I'm confused. You just, yeah, you, there, like. That's the music. It's all there. It's in this. And then this. Yeah, you search it. You find whatever you want. Mm -hmm. There it is. And then play. Play it here. Yeah. And then. Mm -hmm. Oop. All right. All right. <laughs> there. Put this shit on. <laughs> This is awesome. <laughs> this is DJing. Hey. Hey. Hey, what's going on here? Hi. I see you guys. Are, yeah. You guys met each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never told me you had such cool friends, Mom. Yeah, they're cool. They're really cool. Just teaching them how to DJ. Uh huh. Yeah. He's good. He's really good. That's great. That's that's great. I didn't think that you'd meet them so soon. I thought they'd be gone by now. Are you taking <clears> off? 
Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> hey, honey, I want to talk to them real quick, okay? Can you go to your room? It's old people talk. It's, it's really boring. Yeah, 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 of course. My kid. Mm -hmm. These guys are really cool, Mom. They're super cool, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Hi, ta-da! Hey! What was the one thing I told you guys? You said a lot of fucking shit, I mean. I said I didn't want you to meet my son. Get it? Remember that? You guys are pissing me off here. It's better to be pissed off than pissed on. You're pissed? Your dad stole our idea. What? Starbucks. That's his company, isn't it? <laughs> my dad has nothing to do with Starbucks. Listen. You're not the guilty party in this. You don't have to protect him. Yeah, he has nothing to do with Starbucks. I beg to differ. I like to say something no, about that. No, no, that's that. okay. Oh, well, I'm just gonna leave. Uh, you know that um, ham sandwich in the refrigerator? Is that anybody's particular? Oh, never mind. So Reeves and I are gonna open a restaurant. Really? Mm -hmm. Hey, good luck with that. But however, uh, due to bad planning uh, with the money, uh, as you can see, we bought new clothes, hence why I look like Charlie Brown. We have no money for a motel, and we can't keep sleeping in the van. And Brad happened to tell us about this great guest house you have out back. Yeah, no, 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 you're not gonna sleep in my guest house. No, no, let, just listen, 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 listen. Let me finish. In exchange for letting us stay, we will make dinner for you and Brad every night. No, I... It's only gonna be for like a week or two, and I understand the whole thing about role models, but look, we no longer look homeless. That's a good start, right? We'll be very respectful. I promise not to stay out late. I won't curse. Hold on. Fuckity fuck, fuck, fuck. I just had to get that out. No drugs. I won't stay out late. Did I mention that? I may have mentioned it twice, but that's because I'm not going to do it. Did I tell you how pretty your hair looks with the gray in it? <laughs> And I'm not just saying that to make you feel good about yourself. It's very <sighs> becoming. Come on, help out an old friend, an old boyfriend, a recent orphan. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. We have history. I've been inside you. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I'll be right here if you need me. Yeah, okay, no boundaries. I, <sighs> okay, look at me. My son is the most important thing in my life, and I'm gonna hold you to your promises. I promise. Pinky promise? Please, Pinky promise with me. Is that your Pinky? I wanna promise. Please, somebody help me. You can stay. Thank you. Do you remember when we used to hold Pinkies? <laughs> no, we never well, did this. We did this. No, that's your we other did, girlfriend. We did some other stuff, but <laughs> uh, that didn't involve I'll see you later. So why you tell her we don't do drugs anymore? Because we don't do drugs. We smoke weed. Weed's not a drug. Weed grows from the earth. This is the earth we're smoking. We're giving back to Mother Nature. Hello, Mom. Welcome to my mouth. <laughs> Besides, we can still smoke. We just can't do it indoors. Gotta crack a window or some shit. We can't let Debbie find out. Oh, and I told her that we'd be cooking for her and the kid every night. Fuck you did. Tonight's your night. I'll cook tomorrow. Where you going? She's gonna show me the old neighborhood. Why can't I go? Because you're cooking. Wait a minute. You're fucking her, so you should cook. Well, if I was fucking her, that'd be a great deal. But I don't think she likes me like that anymore. Well, so, so you stay here and cook, then I'll go fuck. You know what? That sounds like a great plan. I'll see you when we get back. Bye, fucker. <laughs> No. Oh. oh, yeah, that's my shit. Lisa, Lisa. I can't believe how many times you made me listen to Can you feel the beat? Can you feel? Can you feel? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I'm going to make you feel that beat. Oh, dear. Thank God Brad missed this time in history. You know, speaking of history, what happened to Brad's um, father? Oh, wow, that was smooth. Didn't work out. Short story. Obviously, it didn't work out. What's what's the story story? How'd you meet him? What's his name? Who is this guy? His name's David. I met him 14 years after you vanished from my life. I mean, I'm 16 years old. Love of my life drives away. I never see him again. 
you know, talk about abandonment issues. You really screwed me up, you know? If I knew you were dead or that you were kidnapped, it would make sense, but there's always that possibility that you, you hated everything in your life and you just wanted to run away. You run away from me. And every boyfriend after that, unconsciously, I thought would abandon me too. At least that's what my therapist said when he broke up with me. Sorry. I don't know. It's not like I intended for any of this to happen either, you know? It's, it's not easy for me. I'm still trying to comprehend what's going on. And I didn't mean to meet Brad. It was an accident. He just came home early. Er did he skip school? No, don't trip. Not early like that. Like, I mean, earlier than I thought he'd be home. I, hey, it is hard raising a kid on your own, okay? I, mean, I worry. That's what moms do. I worry he's going to break a bone, that he's going to fall into the wrong crowd. He's not going to fall into the wrong crowd. Well, you, you don't know him. I know you. And you're his mom. And if a mom like you, I think you can be just fine. You hear that? Yeah, I do. Okay, you ready? Yeah, no, don't do it. So, I'm gonna pass you a wave. Don't do it. Here it comes. Catch it. If you don't release that wave, it's gonna come out in traffic. So please, don't do it. You're making a left turn, and whoa, and then a U turn. No, no you can't have waves right, floating okay, around. Okay, here's my, here's my move. Go, go, go. go. Take me home. Hey, that's my move. I call that the twist and dash. Yo, you ready? Oh, I'm searching for my parents on, on the computer. It's called Facebook. People list a bunch of useless information. Like this guy right here, he's about to brush his teeth. Now he's done. Oh, I got a friend request. Oh, shit. From Nigeria? Maybe you have long lost relatives in Nigeria. He doesn't look like anybody in my family. All right, let's go. All right. Oh. Do I have the wrong number? What is this? Do I, do I know you guys? Hey, that looks like fucking Sanchez, doesn't it? But older and uglier. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear you. They created a game where you can put your family in. I'm okay. not a game. That's crazy. That's better than Pac-Man or Asteroids. Did you see that? I'm not a game. I am on a Skype. He's on planet Skype. Where is this planet? Oh, we're on Earth. What are your coordinates? Where the fuck is my daughter? He's on planet Skype and his daughter's missing. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. It's you two idiots. We're businessmen now. Yeah. We're opening businesses. I thought you guys were dead. Anyway, good talking to you, dirty. Not disconnect me. Hey, 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 hey. Bye, hey, buddy. Cabrones. And it's going to be called the Chili Pot, and we're just going to serve chili. Just chili. That's going to pay the rent? 20 bucks a bowl. For chili? Well, it has a special ingredient. Has cannabis in it. No, you're not. Oh, yes, we are. It's our recipe. <laughs> you are not selling pot in my property. Oh, no, no, sir. It's OK. Marijuana is legal now. So are titty bars, but you're not going to open up one of them in my building either. Who would think 30 years later there'll be still racism in America? That had nothing to do with race. Are you kidding me? The guy was white and he was a landlord? Hey, those Confederate types just don't like us. I don't think it had anything to do with us. It was the weed he didn't like. Look, I say this time we try it again, just like the bait, but leave out the weed. OK. All right? All right. Boom. Dudes. I don't think we're going to have to hide that part about the weed. Mm -mm. Hey, so uh, everything's included in the kitchen, in the rent? Because uh, it looks perfect to make chili with weed in it. Yeah, it's all included. Chili with weed in it. Wow. Right on. You know, I once replaced my bomb water with soup. Yeah. That was... Yeah, that was wild. You know, we'll take it. I don't I don't know if I have that bong anymore. I mean, that was like... No, 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 no. Years, the, the, years the ago. place, right, you know. Oh, right, cool. Yeah, right. Uh, that'll be a $5,000 deposit. <clears throat> hey, can you just uh, hold it for us? We're just waiting on the bank to give us the money. No, no can do. And just so you two know, I got some other dudes coming in here tomorrow afternoon to check out the place. So, you know, peace out.
Mm, but peace, though, really, man. I mean it. Peace out, man. But I gotta get out of here. That place is great. You think the bank will give us a loan while we're waiting on a loan? It's worth it. We'll give it a shot. Yo, I just realized my grandparents used to put away money for me every year, and I wasn't allowed to touch it till I was 21. Oh, shit. You look like you can pass for 21 now. I think so. It's got to be like over $4,000 in that account. $4,000? Bruh, with the combining interest loans bearing and the dividends, that's 30 years? That's got to be like $400,000. Yeah. You just saved the day. Mm. Guys, this is delicious. It's my mom's secret recipe. Mm. What we used to do is make it all from scratch, then we go to the store and get some store-bought chili, put it in there to add a little flavor to it. Wait, that's the secret recipe? Yeah, it was, up until now. Did you know that Clark Gable ate chili the night before he died? Where the hell did you hear that? On Gable. On what? On the computer, if you look up, you like, put like stuff words in, like uh, chili, goggle, and then no. I goggled. No, 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 at Google. Listen, I was, I did, I goggled yeah, last night. Goggle sounds like a word. It's Google, yeah, G-O-O-G-L-E, Google. Well, people spell tomato different ways, too. What the fuck is a Google? Google, it's like a search engine. You search stuff in it. I didn't look for a mechanic, okay? I was looking for chili. Yeah, you wear goggles, you don't wear Googles. Well, you gotta wear protective goggles, not protective Googles. But it, it's, not, it's not spelled goggles. You don't get drunk and have beer Googles, you have beer goggles. They're not goggles, they're not for your eyes. It's Google, like G-O-O-G-L-E. Then what is it for? For searching for And stuff. what do you search with? Your eyes. Checkmate, motherfucker. Ah! What's the matter? What happened? Uh, I messed up my arm at the BMX track. BMX track? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Who went? All of us. It was fun. All of you. What did I say about that? Well, you said you weren't going to take me. These guys said they would, so I said, OK. I wasn't going to take you because it's dangerous. It's not dangerous. It's BMX. It's fine. He got hurt. He's old. Old people get hurt doing anything. Oh, God. I'll be all right. You're not helping. Look, no, it's fine, Mom. We were fine. We went. We had fun. We relaxed. We were, we were wearing our pads and helmets. We were fine, right? Mm -hmm. If it's so safe, why do you have to wear pads and helmets? My house. My rules. You never let me do anything fun. You like you like keep me cooped up in the house. Like I can't do anything. You're like a fun killer. Hey. What's with all the helmets and pads nowadays, anyway? Well, that's what you do now with dangerous things. Everyone wears helmets and pads. Back in the day, the only people that wore helmets and pads were retards and women on their periods. <laughs> I, I'm I'm raising three children here. <laughs> I think she's on her helmet right now. <laughs> Weber, correct. Harris. Can you just tell me what my account is? All right, thank you. Yo, I had $4,000 in that account. At a quarter percent interest over 30 years, I got $4,400. The landlord guy needs $5,000. We're fucked. You're going to need to sell the van. I can't sell the van, man. It's my only van. It was your only van. Once we get the loan, we'll buy back the van. But in the meantime, we need the money. What the fuck is that? Why are you mocking me? It's Brad's iPad. This thing, it, it, it repeats everything you say. I just said that. Do you want to smoke? Well, clearly I do. Look, blow some weed. Blow weed into it. Now do, you, do you feel high? Are you a high pad? <laughs> How much you get? 700 bucks. The fuck? That's what I said. Apparently, the guy from the list of Craig said that's all the truck is worth because, you know, vintage and, you know, Cheetos everywhere. I kind of trust him, too, because Craig uh, wouldn't put a list together of people he didn't trust. Who the fuck is Craig? 
Some guy has a list of everybody's shit, and they just go to him to sell it. Where do you find this guy? Does he have a store? I don't know, Craig. He's on the um, the Weber, the World Wide Web. That computer shit we were looking at? Yeah, it's like something about twitting. Apparently, the people who twit go to face. I haven't figured it out, but Craig knows everybody. You get everything from skis to a blowjob. Ooh, we should have got blowjobs. I got a shit. Try to use the toilet this time. Hi. Hey. Hi. Does it look like I'm flying? It does, Superman. <laughs> I want to talk to you about the other morning. Oh. You were fine. No, I was wrong. You guys have gone out of your way to include Brad, and I appreciate it. And now you're letting him help with the restaurant stuff, and it's very cool. Interesting concept, by the way. Concept? Mm-hmm. What, what did he say? Well, you're only going to serve chili, right? That's all he said? What else should he say? Nothing. Nope, nothing. Dinner tonight? Oh, I forgot to tell you. You don't have to cook dinner tonight. I'm going out with the girls. Oh. Yeah. OK. I'll see you later. No problem. You guys should take me bungee jumping this weekend. What the fuck is bungee jumping? <laughs> I don't know. Is that in your underwear? What the fuck is bungee jumping? You know, like when you jump off a bridge with like a bungee. Why do you say that like we should know this? Why shit? would you do why would the fuck you jump off a bridge? Because it's fun. You know that we're not white, right? Yeah. yeah that's exactly. not shit we would do. Why the fuck would you jump off a bridge? I gotta check with your mom. I mean, you don't have to tell her. Uh-uh, I promised I wouldn't let you do any fucking dumb shit. What the fuck? That's bros before a hole. Thank you. Hello? Thank you. Hey, it's hey. the best bud guy. Hey, hey bud. <laughs> bud. How old is he? What, are you hitting on me, pervert? I can't conduct business if anyone around is underage. You conducting business with us, boy. Watch your goddamn tone. <laughs> He's 21. Listen here, Robin Files. You take your case somewhere else. His parents are midgets. They keep our family. That's Keebler Sutherland. Keep it to yourself. If you have a good girl, she's a Keebler. Selling chili with we in it? It's brilliant. You guys are gonna need about 10 flavors to start. I got the Super Skunk, OG Kush, White Widow, Blueberry Kush. Which one's the best? <laughs> all of this stuff is chronic. <laughs> then we'll take all of it. <laughs> and those free little pins Ooh. that come with it. My friend, this is a vaporizer. Oh, well, watch oh, hey. that vaporizer. I don't want to lose my friend. <laughs> Your laser the force is not with you. It's not a Star Trek thing, guys. Just push down on the button, inhale, and try it out. Oh, my pate. Oh, in my mouth. These new designs, they let you regulate the vapor density so you get more hits per cartridge. Mm. Oh, it's good stuff. Hold on. Mm -hmm. That's smooth. Oh, oh yeah, easy, guys. You barely have to hit it. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hitting it from the front. <laughs> Great thing about these new models, vaporization only happens when you inhale. So rule of thumb, mm. you use about maybe half the weed that you would smoking a joint. Half. <laughs> and the high is stronger. Mm-hmm. Better high, less money, and completely healthy. Uh, I'll tell you what, I feel so fucking healthy right now. <laughs> Fantastically healthy. I think I'm doing my room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how could you be 47 and do that without falling? Age ain't nothing but a number. OK, OK. Are you ready? Well, I haven't done this in, I haven't done this in years, so. OK. <laughs> Whoa. Don't trip. Okay. Are you tripping, fool? <laughs> you got it. You got it. 
Pontiac or Toyota? Who was that? Hey, guys. Hi. This place looks, uh, fun. What's with the donations, John? Oh, that's for my friend on Facebook. Oh, the one from Nigeria? Yes. Yes, how'd you know, Nassim? Yeah, it's a scam. <sighs> that is exactly what Nassim said you would say. It is a scam. Yeah. It's because he knows it's a scam. No, he needs a foot transplant. Anyway, this is bullshit. Let's get somebody to help us paint, man. We don't have any money left. But we have weed. Weed is currency. Yo, next time we give these guys the weed after they paint. Next time we pay them in cash. We don't have any more cash, remember? Yeah, we don't have any more weed. What? How the fuck are we gonna make chili with weed in it if we don't have any weed to put in the chili? I know. That's why I call the best book guy. So, problem solved. Problem not solved. We don't have any more money. What? What? You're just now telling me this. I just now told you just now. Hello? Oh, shit. shit. I have bad news. Why don't you tell me the good news first? Oh, there is no good news. <sighs> what do you mean there's no good news? Well, oh, actually, there's good news for me. I can't give you gentlemen the loan. But you said we had good credit. I said it looks like you have really good credit. Turns out, you don't have any credit at all. Yeah, but... Can't they look at it like we haven't missed a payment in like three decades? They could, but they won't, because that's not how it works. Banks don't give loans to people without credit. So you bought your big Wally happy ass down here, granola eating, Folgers coffee drinking, to tell us this shit. Well, it wasn't a problem. I had the afternoon free since I didn't have to do your paperwork. Well, I'm gonna go get some Frogurt. Bye, guys. What a frogging asshole. See, I told you, racism still alive. Mm -hmm. Still alive. We're fucked. He can't give us a loan because we ain't got no credit. Gentlemen, all I need is a signature and a payment, and we're all set. Right. Um, about the payment thing. <laughs> a funny thing. <laughs> what the? You know how business is. You know, got the signature, but the payment. <laughs> Can I be straight? There's been a accounting error. Yeah. So we're gonna have to get this on credit. <laughs> credit? Okay, let me explain to you something about credit, all right? I gave you credit in the first delivery. You still haven't gotten payment for that. So when I get payment for that, get some more weed. Look, man, look around. Okay, we're just about to open this place, right? We're gonna be busy, busy, making money, chili, money, chili, weed, everything. We're gonna be successful. We're gonna be your number one people. We're gonna be your thing, economics. <laughs> Hold on, let me some handle this. Look, you're a businessman. I'm a businessman. Businesses help businesses. That's how this country was built. Capiche? Pilgrims help the Indians. The Indians help the pilgrims. We're just asking for the same deal the Indians got. And not my Indians, the other ones. Okay, let me explain to you guys a little something about the deal the Indians got. Pilgrims took their land, gave them blankets covered in smallpox. Allegedly. Smallpox, that's free. Weed, costs money. No cash, no grass. What are you, a fucking poet now? I don't need smallpox. These people, these are not good business people. Did you know that Bruce Lee was actually born in San Francisco? I did know this. I can't believe I messed up on County. I can, you were wasted. We're always wasted. Maybe that's our problem. You're gonna have to ask Debbie for the money. Are you fucking crazy? Yeah, picture that. Oh, hey, Deb, can I borrow a few thousand bucks so I can buy some weed? Yeah, she'll lose her shit and kick us out of her place. We'll end up homeless. Just tell her for something else. You can't lie to her. You've been lying this whole time. Yeah, well, I don't like it. Listen, 
She's against weed. You don't have a future, okay? She's our last hope. Roll the dice, man. Hey, guys. Debbie! Hey, hey hello. Speaking of nice shirts. Hi. Hey. <laughs> so, uh, what are you doing here? I took off work early. Brad told me you'd be here. Oh, cool. Brad told her. Look at that. Well, I told Brad that I would take him skydiving. All right, off to the gym. <laughs> you guys have fun. OK, well, look at you skipping work, huh? Sit down. It's a beautiful day. Let's go for a walk. All right. Are you ready? So you just took the day off work today just like that? Just like that. I mean, a few weeks ago, I would have never considered that. But if my boss gets annoyed, so what, right? I guess. What changed? I don't know. I just feel like I haven't been living my life. I forgot how to have fun along the way. You know what I mean? I do. I do know what you mean. You have a lot to do with that. I do? I'm the reason you played hooky today? Yes. I mean, look at you. You don't worry about anything. So you think I don't have any worries? What do you have to worry about? Oh, OK, your secrets again. We don't have enough money to finish the restaurant. Can't you get a loan? Well, Pelican Point Bank was going to give us a loan, but then we don't have any credit, so. Well, you know what? There are our other banks. Well, where are you going? Ooh, ooh. Wait, now you want to dance? I want to talk. You're afraid that she's not going to accept you because you're a pothead. And in my book, that's a chicken. OK, number one, I'm not a chicken. What? <laughs> My friend Julie works at the Pelican Point Bank. She spoke with the original loan officer, and he still likes your idea. No, they already said no, and we don't have any credit anyways. I'm going to co-sign. Oh, god, no. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, your credit no. is no longer an issue. All you have to do is go in, give your little presentation, and you're all set. I'm so excited for you. Wow! <laughs> I love it when Debbie gets excited. Well, that went well. No, the fuck it didn't. She thinks we're opening up a normal restaurant. We are. I got to get her to cancel. No! Oh, oh. I can't have her sign this shit under false pretenses. Deb? Debbie, I, whew, I, um, oh my, good, good God. Um, De De Deb, Debbie, Deb, Deb, Dooby, Deb, da. God damn, you look fantastic. I, uh... I, I just gotta, I just wanna talk to you about something real quick. I just, tits talk. Tootie ta 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 tits talk. Jesus Christ, I wanted to tell you your tits have dropped perfectly over the years. I, um, I haven't seen uh, these or anything, this shade. I was with Reeves for a long time, and uh, this is far better than I... We really need to work on your compliments. <laughs> Debbie? Deb! Debbie! Oh, for fuck's sakes. Yo, where's Debbie? You didn't tell her, did you? I tried to, but she wanted to fuck. I don't want to be rude. She showed up naked, and I showed up with a boner. Well, she left you a little message. Sorry I can't be at the bank with you. Good luck today. Fuck. I got to call her, dude. And tell her what? The truth. The truth? Look, you're going to sabotage us. I'm not trying to sabotage her, but she put up too much fucking money. Trust me. Let me call her real quick. Oh. Fucking voicemail. Good. We got to cancel this meeting. Listen, this is all I have. I sold my bed. I have nothing. I don't want to fuck her over, and I don't want to fuck you over. You're my best friend. But we got to tell somebody the truth somewhere. We got to figure something out. Wait a minute. I might have something. There's this thing on here called PowerPoint with a few adjustments and some editing. 
Cut, paste. Can I ask you something? Hmm? How the fuck do you get so good on a computer? This is Hunt's typing class. Damn, I should have paid attention. I kept staring at Mrs. Hunt's legs. She see we've turned around these stiff types. Should be ready to jump on board. Shall we begin the presentation? Oh, we're not ready just yet. God, this chili is goddamn. It's good. Oh. <laughs> you spiked it. I put a little product in it. How much? Enough to get the loan. Mm. Yummy. Oh. Can I have some more? Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, certainly can. <laughs> oh, thank you. I, I see you, uh, gentlemen, have a loan guarantor, Miss Sanchez. Uh, she can't be here today, but she's ready to sign the papers upon the bank's approval. Do we have any bigger spoons? Okay, time for the presentation. This is our projected income. Yep. Uh, hold on. Go, go back a slide. Hmm? Do you have any actual numbers for your projected profit? No. But it will look like this, the money. I'm gonna stack it better. Yeah. These are some ingredients, mainly beans, tomatoes. This is Greg, he's the cow. Um, corn. corn. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, stop the clock. Go back a slide hmm? or two. Hmm? Oh, this one more, one more. Greg. Uh, forward. Go forward one mm -hmm. slide. Mm -hmm. no, back, 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 back. back. I'm sorry. Was that? Is that marijuana? It's legal cannabis. All right. Can we get the lights back on? No, 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 no sir, no, no. sir. Let me understand something here. You're gonna sell chili that has marijuana in it? Yes. That's why it's called the chili pot. Chili pot. Chili pot. All right, I think we can stop here. A pot restaurant is not the sort of establishment that our bank can support. Oh. It would be bad for our image. Actually, I was gonna address that. Uh, can we continue? I really don't see the point. Please, there's more chili. Uh, please, there's lots of it. Okay, all right, all right, go, go for it, go for it. I just, that's very full, all right. Weed has been a part of our history and our fabric. When Washington was crossing the Delaware, do you think he was sober? I mean, who stands up in a boat? A high man. George Washington, weed smoker. Ben Franklin, do you think that, hey, let's go fly a kite in the middle of a storm was a sober idea? That's where the term high as a kite comes from. Ah. Ben Franklin, bong owner. There's his supplier. Cancer. The big C. Many people in this town have it and are going to die from it soon. Shouldn't they have access to something that's going to make the time pass slower? We does that. Picture thousands of tombstones that read, my death was not quick, thanks to Pelican Point Bank. Marijuana, gateway drug, right? <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Marijuana is a gateway to Pancakes, Cinnabon, anything ending in Edo, Fritos, Doritos, Cheetos, Burritos, hundreds of foods that may not be palatable to the normal taste bud, but to somebody on marijuana, delicious, and they go out hunting for it night after night. Mm. Pelican Point Bank, economy stimulator. Marijuana is not only embraced by the outcast now, it is mainstream. Some former potheads and current are doing very well for themselves right now. Woody Harrelson, Sean Penn, Snoop Dogg. I thought you couldn't Michael make it. Phelps, I'm eating that out early. Cheech and Chong, Merle Haggard, Bill Clinton. Why? You didn't tell me it was a marijuana Why? restaurant. Demanda, the king of the mind. What? Barack Obama, the commander in chief. God bless this conference room, and God bless America. Debbie! Debbie! 
I was gonna tell you. When? When were you gonna tell me? After I co-signed the loan? I... I know this looks bad. Oh, my God. You've been lying to me this whole time. I trusted you around my son. I don't know what to say. How about I'm sorry? I'm sorry I didn't realize how my actions would affect people. How about this one? I'm sorry you found weed in Brad's backpack this morning. Yeah, I did. Listen. No, I'm done listening to you. You're a fucking irresponsible man, child. You suck me in, you make me think I can live this carefree day-to-day -day life. But you forgot to tell me the secret. It only works if you don't grow up. But you wouldn't realize that. You didn't think that through, because that takes reflection. You know what really hurts? I started to believe in us again. a note for your mom inside. Wait, 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 you're leaving? Your mom found out about the restaurant. She's pissed. Says we're bad role models. She said that? She's right. We're fucking idiots. And do yourself a favor and stop hiding your weed in your backpack. She went through my stuff? Are you kidding me? God. That's what the note's about. Told her the weed was mine, that I put it in there. You didn't know anything about it, so you're good. No, 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 no. You can't say that because you gotta go get that note. Because if you say that, then she's not gonna let you guys come back. It's too late, buddy. No, this is bullshit, man. I was smoking weed long before you guys ever showed up, all right? This is my fault. I'll take the rep, I'll tell her the honest truth, it'll be fine. She'll let you guys stay, okay? Listen, when you get older, you'll understand. Right now, just things aren't as clear cut as they seem. Besides, what's really important is your mom believes in your innocence rather than mine. Here's the key. Ugh. Now, this shit was way easier to do 30 years ago. Woo! Still mad at me? Dude, I can't believe you left me, man. It would have worked if you just waited a couple of seconds. Look, man, I had to do something. There'll be other banks, but there's only one Debbie. I had to take a shot. If it makes you feel any better, I lost her, too. Does make you feel a little better. I didn't want to lose my best friend as well. Just love me, man. Stop. Why won't you hug me? We slept together for 30 years. You won't hug me now? Stop, you making a PBS moment, man. I'm not inside you. <laughs> Damn it. Holy shit. What? Look at that. What? Right there, where the light is. You need all that weed. But a tree. Oh, shit. Weed never used to grow there before. Maybe the bird droppings have been dropping on the tree acting as fertilizer. No, there used to be trees there. Now the sun can get through. And it's reflecting off the rock. And... Growing takes reflection. Three times three is eight. Debbie said it to me. I didn't know what the fuck she was talking about. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Because there's no trees there, the sunlight can get through. It reflects off the rock, and it feeds the weed. If we clear all these trees away on the side of this hill, with all that light, we won't need a loan. Exactly. We won't need weed. We... Oh, shit. We'll be weed farmers. <laughs> Chili Tiger. 
cushion in Maui Maui Pineapple. We're out of all that. Can you pass it? Oh, OK. Well, I'll let him know. Oh. Hey. Hi. Yep, this is it. Yes, this is it. This is it. Mm. We have artwork, too. Yeah, that was Reeve's idea. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's interesting. This is the, the angel covered in fl angel of flies. Lord of the flies. Because mm -hmm. he's like brown, he's a piece of shit, but he's covered in flies. OK, so um, can you sit down for a minute? Need any Avon? How's my favorite client? What are you doing here? Remember how I knew a guy? You knew a guy? Turns out he knows a guy. G15. It's primo shit. What's the price? to see you here. I know much you don't like chili. <laughs> Just kidding. It's weed. I know much you're against weed. <laughs> well, you know, I just want to keep it away from Brad as long as possible. I want to keep him innocent. So moms too. Um, tomorrow night, there is an old school concert. You want to go with me? You mean you and, you and me? Yeah. Together? Yeah. Uh, yeah, please. Does that mean uh, you forgive me? Well, baby steps. You know why? Why? Because of what you did for Brad. I know you covered up for him about that weed in his backpack. And I know that you've been helping him with his schoolwork for the past few months. And he's been doing great. Thank you. I think you could thank yourself a little bit, too. <laughs> it was a selfless act. Oh, I did a selfless act? Yes. Yeah, I know. I, I did that on purpose. <laughs> I'm really good at being selfless. Here's another selfless act I'd like to do. No, that was selfish. No, nope, that was definitely not shellfish. That was mint. Uh, <laughs> that was not selfless. You know how I know? Because it made you smile. Come here. You want to get out of here? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Just let me go tell Reeves I'm leaving, okay? Okay. Reeves!